We have now finally just checked out of our place and I think to make it easier we're gonna go ahead and get a taxi to the bus station. Now it's important to note that the bus station here in Tirana is not anywhere near the center. It's about 15 minutes actually outside of the center of the city. So that's what we need to do. We're gonna get a taxi and then we're gonna go ahead and head out of Tirana to our next destination here in Albania. So let's go ahead and go on the way. All right, well, after about 15 minutes from the center of Toronto, we are now at the bus station and it is crazy. I mean, look at that. This is a bunch of buses right next to each other and people just going by, people yelling cities in Albania that they're going to and you just tell them which one you're going to. It's a mess, it's a hassle, but it is very, very lively. We've already found our bus, we bought our tickets, but the problem is that the next bus actually leaves in like an hour and a half. So we've got an hour and a half to kill and we don't really have anything to do. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go buy some drinks, some cold drinks, cause it is really, really hot. And the AC is not turned on in the car. It is scorching hot here. And then, uh, yeah, we're just gonna chill until the bus turns on and we head out of the city of Toronto. But like I said, the bus station is sort of outside the city. Not a lot of construction, not a lot of air conditioning. Definitely no air conditioning. It's not really a bus station. It's more of just a big giant parking lot with a ton of buses just parked there. But it's interesting, it's fun, it's hectic, but I'm thirsty so let's go get something to drink. Well after two and a half hours later, we are now at our pit stop before we get to Sarande, which is our destination that we're going to today, but not our final destination. Uh, the bus is packed, there's a lot of people, there's not a lot of leg space, but along the way you actually see a lot of interesting things in the Albanian countryside, like bunkers, and you can see the sort of farmer lifestyle here in Albania. There's sheep, there's cows, there's horses, there's just a lot of interesting sort of Albanian rural life going on around your farmers and everything. But we still got a long while to go, we're only really Really halfway there we're around the vlog area area but we're not actually you know there yet but we'll we'll be there soon and then hopefully things will uh, you know get better as we get on the coast but it'll still be a while it's far too hot in Albania so um, I have to get a little Kit Kat bar a little Kit Kat ice cream it's actually quite pricey I think it's like 300 or 200 lake but um, after this I'm pretty sure we're going to be on our way again, so let's get back on the road. Well, finally, after about six hours on the road we finally made it to our final destination this is Kasamil I know I was saying that we went to Sarande but from Sarande we just took a taxi over to Kasamil it's only about half an hour probably less than that just to come here we've checked into our Airbnb we've dropped our stuff off and I can't wait because the beaches here they look absolutely amazing we're just hiking up right now uh, and then we're gonna descend down to the beaches but this place looks beautiful it is one of the most beautiful beach towns that Albania has to offer. It is one of the highlights of tourism in this country. So let's go ahead and check out the beaches of Kassam. Well, we finally made it to the beach. And I mean, just look at this. It's powdery, it's white. The water is really, really clear. I mean, you know what? Gotta give it to Albania, this might actually be one of the best beaches I've ever seen in the world. I mean, this type of sand is comparable to the sand in the Philippines, in Honduras, in Mexico. Like, this is the type of sand we have here. This is like tropical level sort of uh, sand and water. It's incredible. What I, think, what I think I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put my stuff away and I'm gonna change the GoPro. So I'll see you guys when I'm on the GoPro. And we are ready to go. Let's go ahead and go into the water.
this is one of the coldest waters I've ever felt. And the thing is, the water is actually really, really clear. And it's quite sandy on the bottom, so it's really, really nice. But oh, this is how you spend your time in Albania. One of the most beautiful beaches in all of Europe. Well, good morning guys, it is the next day and we are back here on the beach of Kasamil. Look at the color of this water, it is absolutely amazing. It's crystal clear blue. And what we're doing today is we're actually gonna get a paddle boat and cycle to the other islands around here. It's gonna be super, super fun, but color of the water is just beautiful. It is amazing and I can't wait to get in. It's really, really hot day. As you can see, the sun is radiating right behind me, so it is a very, very hot start to the day, but we're gonna go ahead and get on our boat and I'll see you guys on there. Hopefully, we won't drown today. This right here is going to be our boat for the day. Looks like a good bright yellow boat. Hopefully, we won't get lost. So from what I understand, it's about 1,000 lek for an hour, which is perfectly reasonable. And then you get to go around to any of the islands around here, but just make sure you have to be back in an hour. So we're gonna go ahead and get on to our trusty sticky boat for the day. We are now on the boat. We are now paddling. Look at my feet here. They are paddling. I have to say, it's quite easy to paddle. What do you think? It's easy, right? It's pretty easy to paddle, much easier than I thought. Um, but the steering is just based on this metal thing right here. But it's really, really fun and it's really, really easy. We're gonna try to go to the farthest island first. There's supposed to be a beautiful sandbar there and then we'll see how it goes. But this paddling, I gotta say, it is really, really fun. A highly recommended thing to do here when you are in Kasamil. All right, we're gonna keep paddling and I will see you guys when we get to our first island. Well, we've made it to the first island here. I don't know the name of these islands, but there is a sandbar behind me, which extends over to the other island. It's way too hot. I can't stand out here. I gotta go in for a swim, so I'll see you on the GoPro. Let's go. Oh, 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 yes. All right, well, I haven't been vlogging over the past hour because we had a big problem. My drone crashed. So for the past hour, I've been hiking up there, trying to find my drone. In summary, we did find the drone, but I've cut all over my body now, so this is not a great way to end the video, but this is how we're ending it here in Kasamil. Um, I have to say, this is a really beautiful place. This is the sand here is actually quite pebbly, so it's not like a sand beach like you would see in Kasamil over there. But still, really, really nice, really, really beautiful. I'm just thankful that I have my drone back, so I'm not complaining, I'm not gonna say anything else. Um, but I think we're just gonna head back and I'm gonna end the vlog here from the sandbar here in Kasamil. It's absolutely beautiful, but we've got my drone back and I'll see you guys on the next video here from Albania. Um, I, could, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more food and travel videos. And I'll see you guys on another video sometime soon. Bye guys.